Everybody, <laughs> wow! Can you hear us nicely? All right, everyone sounds great. Awesome. We just did our bonus episode like a few days ago, mm-hmm. and it was so fun. And I decided that I the only way I'm going to be able to get through the public episodes is if I tell myself that it's going to be a bonus episode, right? And I'm going to have a good time. The bonus one we did, we actually had Jordan come on. We had a bunch of really good stories. Yeah, that, it was a um, lot of fun. And there were some things that I found out that we probably should concerning. Um, yeah. If you guys didn't notice, uh, Matt is not here. He is on vacation. He yeah, Baby, he took a three-week break. So you will not see him for the next three episodes. Three episodes. If we're counting this one, three episodes. Mm-hmm. So, so you I'll know, be here. So you know what that means. Mariah, Mariah. is back. For a, for a whole month, if, if you think about it, a whole month, which is amazing. Foiled again. <laughs> My plan is not working. I don't, know, I don't know if you realize, Mariah, but we actually did have a discussion with Matt and we just told him, just just book it. Hey, take take a few months off. <laughs> take a season off. And that's exactly what he did. Yeah, taking one for the team. Once, you, once you're married, you just start like taking all these vacations. So I just hope that you guys don't do that. Let's have the wedding married. soon. <laughs> no, actually, no. In that note, what is going to happen is that you guys are... It's going to be worse than Matt. You're going to move. <laughs> and, I, and then we have to like quadruple record every we have, time. We have, a, we have a couple years. Don't worry. Yeah, that's good. You okay. won't even know that we live somewhere else. Cause we'll, it's true. We're gonna make you'll it be work. that good. Yeah, we'll you, be that good. You'll we swing by, you'll swing by in like a moment's notice. And I'm saying we already, we already moved. We've moved the past couple years. You <laughs> yeah, we just know. flew oh, in this morning. I got my pilot's license. <sighs> So that I could just did fly you actually my, did, no I are, are you gonna get it though imagine because I know I, you've been talking about it you've actually talked about it in a quite a few episodes that you want to I just think your, it would be so cool to have would, would you be, do it with me? I would be like a worried mother if you got your pilot's license because I don't think I could trust you flying a plane I probably wouldn't be the best and pilot. And, and I know it's it's like I feel like pilots always say it's actually really easy flying a plane it's the um because the it's landing. A, it's 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 only the it's the takeoff and landing which yeah. are tough, but still like they say it's like easier than like we all fear for our lives on planes, but like it's actually really easy in the cockpit. Like they know exactly what they're doing, and it's really right. tough to like fuck that up. And you know what's annoying? You have to like really manually fly a normal plane like in the beginning, right? Yeah. Like there's no like autopilot when you're trying to get your license, but commercial airliners literally just hit autopilot the entire time in the middle of the sky. Like, I feel like they should be the ones that are monitoring with all the lives on board. It's crazy how you graduate to like commercial airlines filled with people. And it's like the easiest place to fly. And then it gets easier. Yeah. Um, I did just find out that uh, when you, when a, when a company that you're flying for gets like a new plane or you get to um, upgrade and become like a passenger pilot or whatever, your mm-hmm. first time flying that plane is with people. Oh. You can't do There's like no a- There's run, no test No, you do- simulator test to make sure that you can fly it but your first time actually flying one of those passenger planes is like a legit run and why, why is that yeah is it because they need the weight no it's because you don't there's not just like a plane uh, to use a 747 for- jet that's just that should be a little side job like uh, like extras to practice like hire people to come on the plane to be to be passenger. But here's the thing. They're always going to see the other pilot will always have more experience than the other pilot though. So like, I don't think there'll ever be a situation for right. both pilots. It's their first time flying with a plane full of police. Yeah. You, you have people. your co-pilot that I would imagine they would <laughs> yeah. at least pair you up with somebody that could take the wheel if you needed. Yeah. Imagine coming on a plane and seeing I was in the cockpit. Like I was one of the two <laughs> and I'm just like all aboard. <laughs> I'd get off. No way. All right. Um, this is, such a lovely episode because it's our Christmas episode, you know? Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas, everyone. We actually, um, we, we just did our Christmas this morning, so it actually feels like Christmas right now. Yeah. It didn't feel like Christmas. Oh, we can side. help you out with that. Oh, we yeah? A, we have a gift for you. You have a gift? Yeah, it's nothing crazy. Don't After get too excited. After the intro. After oh, yeah, the yeah, intro. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All, right, all, right, all right. All right. I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay. <clears throat> Woo! It's, it's Comfort Zone, zone baby! La, 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Uh-huh. Uh, we had a gay in apparel. Fa la la. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Welcome back to Zany Heath Unfiltered. Uh, I'm Zane. I'm Heath. 
I'm Mariah. <laughs> and this is our Christmas episode. Thank you so much for tuning in to another unfiltered episode, baby. Let's we go, love baby. you. We can't believe it. <laughs> Five years, four it's our years. Fifth Christmas party. I want to go back to like all the Christmas episodes and just see what we were talking about. What was like, were we fighting? Were we friends? Like, what, what's, what what's happening? We, what did we get? I don't yeah. remember. Presents. Yeah. Wow. Oh, well, let's put Zane in the spirit. Yeah. 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 Let's Are you that. ready for Christmas? I'm ready. Uh, close my eyes. Close your eyes. But it's please, not, it's not wrapped. And, yeah. And please, is it a pet? No, it's I not can't a pet. Do we pet. learned our lesson the first okay, time. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. Keep your eyes closed. All right. It's uh, close. It's not wrapped. It's also not crazy. Carry it with two hands. Okay. <laughs> Why is it moving? <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Open your eyes. Merry Christmas. Woo! Okay, it's a duffel bag. With a bearded dragon. I got you. I, got you. Sorry, I had to fake that. I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's a duffel bag. Okay, obviously something's inside. All right. <laughs> okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. All right, let's see. Okay. It looks like a pet bag. Like for a... Dane, it's not a... You're just traumatized. No, it's not an animal. Traumatized. You open it up. And it keeps opening. Oh wait! And keeps oh, wait. opening into a, a garment bag. Garment wait, bag. wait, wait, wait! <laughs> I think I saw this on TikTok. Yeah, wait. you did see it on TikTok. <laughs> wait, is this the one where you open the suitcase? It goes, it's layer after layer, like it pulls out, like uh, no, 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 it's it's a suit bag. Have you seen the one where they open a suitcase and it's like a drawer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Like is a dresser? that what it is? No, that's no. not. Oh, I don't fucking want it then. Wait, Zane, you sent <laughs> you this to Heath and said, look me. how cool this is. Oh, wait, did I really? Yes, on TikTok. <laughs> so you put your suit in there, but then the shape of it is what makes the bag. So then you stuff everything inside of where, do you get it? I sent this to you? Yes. <laughs> pull up the text, pull up the text. <laughs> can I please see the, can I please yeah, see yeah. the video? I think you were like, this is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Show me. The I gotta text. start. I gotta start sending you guys exactly what I want. Yeah. So you don't well, want this? <laughs> no, no, no. I do want this. No, no. I sent it to you because I like this was a cool thing. It's so cool that it it is the shape of the bag, and then you put your shoes into the side, and then stuff. No, inside. this is sick. And how many? So you can fit your suit, like obviously your suit. Yeah, your the suit whole goes thing. But you here. can fit. Uh, like, can you fit? Regular so once, clothes in here too? Yeah, once you fit the suit in and you close it, it's still an empty bag. Because yes. the suit is on the outside of the bag. I freaking love the holidays. <laughs> freaking love this is it. amazing. This is a, Zane, you had every emotion in the book so open in this thing. Wow. Okay. Wow, thank you guys. Yeah, you're welcome. This is amazing. Match you're your welcome. outfit. Oh my gosh, he looks like the duffel. Look at him. Oh, it matches perfectly. Wait, <laughs> I like, I just got really excited about this because okay. I really need this. Right, we know. I can't wait to put that for your guys' wedding weekend. But what's cool is we'll the side too. This slides over the handle on your suitcase. So you don't have to so carry it. So you don't have to oh, carry it. The handle nice. goes through there and it'll stay propped up. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> we couldn't tell at first. Anyways. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I wish your I wish your gift was here. It just it's taken a little bit. It's all right. Do you have we to don't Oh go ahead. Uh, oh no, you're good. Mine's long. What's long? What I was gonna say. Oh, yeah, like a monologue? Yeah, I have a story. She's oh. auditioning. Oh, you have a story? <laughs> I Should love I stories. I don't know if it's interesting, though. Do you want me and Jordan to tell the story about my Instacart thing? It's yeah. kind of funny how we went about it. That's the funny part. Yeah. Jordan, come join me. <laughs> Were you checking to see if he was inside? Well, I was like, do you want him? Can we share a mic? <laughs> come on, Jordan. Come on down. Come on down, Jordan, bah, to the bah, green bah, couch. Bah, 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 bah. This really is a holiday episode. We're bringing the family. We're bringing the friends. Oh, Jordan. Get him a mic. Bring in the cheers. Oh, mic. your your mom's not going to see this episode before. Jordan made this shirt for his mother, and it's really sick, but he hasn't taken it off since he finished it. <laughs> you Wait, you made that for her? I made this for my mom. Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> you made that for her? <laughs> yes, I made this for my mom. Wait, you can you switch? make me one? I, I can. I can make you one. It's really nice. I mean, I, I just bought this fabric at Joanne's and just put it. Like you actually sew. Like this sewed. was a blanket. These were both blankets. The, the body and the arm. He put him to work. He can make her merch. <laughs> oh my. Are you serious? All custom sewn. Imagine he has to do each <laughs> order by... <laughs> Okay, Betsy Ross. <laughs> he's, Jordan, he's, Jordan, we got five thousand orders. He sues us for la for like labor laws. <laughs> it's just, it, this took me like four hours, four hours and thirty minutes. That's really thoughtful. I could yeah. never do that for my mom. This was a Cremota hoodie. <laughs> yeah, he cut the he cut the um no. the stretchies. <laughs> It's so funny because I told him, I was like, go grab a hoodie that you don't <laughs> wear and cut it up and take the cuffs. Kermode was the first one and he And that snatched. was what he grabbed. It's yeah. just so funny that you haven't taken it off. Every Christmas he does this where he gets a gift for somebody 
but he really likes the present. And he did this for his brother. He wore the jacket he was getting his brother for Christmas for a month leading up before giving it to him. Because he loves it so much. Like, <laughs> stop wearing it. I, I think that everyone in my family, we wear the same size things. And I also like that. Doesn't that doesn't mean you... Same. <laughs> <Yeah>. but, like, <laughs> but I also like that... Um, this is gonna smell like me. There's, a, I think there needs to be a study, no, a I think case my, study on all of you guys. I think my mom is gonna like, okay. and it's gonna, <laughs> it's like, oh, it's it's my son. <laughs> I don't think so. He loves breaking in the gifts before he gives them. I it's do. Funny. I do. That's it's interesting. Like I've never heard of someone liking to break into their the gifts that they're giving somebody. I didn't break in for, yours, and I could have. And I really wanted to, and I wanted to so bad. If you would have broke that present in, I would have been very upset. (laughs) He's proud. What was it? A spittoon. (laughs) What is that? You know those metal bowls that have like the, it's it's literally, it goes on the ground back in like the old West days where people that are chewing tobacco will and spit on the ground. Well, that's why he got you it. Look how good that, (laughs) how good that sounded. And there's spit all over it because it's a real antique one. And there's like rusted spit marks everywhere. No, Jordan just broke it in before he gave it to you. <laughs> I thought it was an old urinal. <laughs> what is that shape? It's making me uncomfortable. Spit it's so it doesn't topple over if someone runs into it. Okay, because so then you get spit all over the ground. A spittoon is an actual bowl you spit in though. That's yeah. what a spittoon is? Yeah. For tobacco spit. For tobacco. Wow. I didn't, they're not like, used anymore. So people have them as like collectibles and that you could put flowers in them. Can. You can trash can. Yeah, that's good. It's really, they used to be everywhere. Like you would walk into a bank and you would just, they'd be on the ground and you'd walk by because everybody was chewing and they would just be like, ding. <laughs> But what about the garbage? Like garbages don't work the same? Oh, like look, your garbage at, can? look at it in the courthouse. Yeah, imagine that they're like doing. <laughs> wait, you got not, your. Wait a second. Garbage cans. Did they not exist back then? <laughs> just gar- put a garbage it's bin in because, the corner. You just it's because walk everybody up to it. smoked and chewed tobacco, it was a right? Communal everybody pot did to it. Literally spit yeah. it. Yeah. But I would have tripped over there every time I went out. Imagine every spilling single it. time. <laughs> well, don't you All step on around. Dean like every other day? <laughs> what? Huh? But uh, uh, can you please tell us this Instacart story? Or is this Instacart? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, ordered, I ordered a spittoon <laughs> to the house. Okay, so. I thought it was like a SpongeBob res- reference. I'm so sorry. The, the, the spittoon? The sp- something spittoon. What's salty the, spittoon. The, the salty, salty spittoon. Nice, Zane. You're on it. Did not know it. that oh. that was, I thought like that was a made up word for SpongeBob. Zane, you are wow. on it today. Yeah. And you're not, you forgot your medication. I did. Why is it not the shape of a spittoon? Heath, wait, you all should have known The salty this. spittoon. Yeah, but no, I, I, did I didn't think of that. that. I did not, I did know not that think of all. it. Oh, that's strange. That's I'll mad. Tell you. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, Rocket Money. Do you ever feel like money is just flying out of your account and mm. you have no idea where it's going? Mm-hmm. Well, I know it's all those subscriptions. Think about it. Between streaming services, fitness apps, delivery services, parenting apps, it's endless. And I'm guilty of this. So I use Rocket Money to help me find out what subscriptions I'm actually paying for. And baby, it is an eye-opening experience. You can see what subscriptions you're paying for and cancel the ones you don't want anymore. Like I know that I have like eight editing apps on my phone mm-hmm. right now. And I probably started those subscriptions maybe for the last like eight years. It's yep. just been on my phone and I've now I only use one and I just can't cancel them. I can't contact. I, there's nothing I can do. It's just on my phone and there's just no way to cancel it. So it's just good that Rocket Money is there to kind of save the day and just cancel those unwanted subscriptions. You're going to be able to see all those subscriptions in one place. And if you see something you don't want, you can cancel it with just one tap. And exactly, you never have to get on the phone with customer service or anything to try to cancel it. They do everything for you. They'll even try to get you a refund for the last couple of months of wasted money and negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you got to do is take a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. And a really cool thing about Rocket Money is they'll actually give you an alert if the subscription that you have increases in price without letting you know like a lot of companies do this all the time they lock you in at a price and then the next thing you know you know they're they're raising the monthly payment on it and rocket money will let you know if they did that and they can even negotiate it for you or cancel it if you don't want it and if that has not convinced you to get this yet i think this might rocket money has over 5 million users that has helped save its members an average of 720 dollars a year with over 500 million dollars in canceled subscriptions so stop wasting money on the things you don't use and cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash unfiltered again that's rocketmoney.com slash unfiltered thank you so much rocket money for sponsoring this podcast and saving us money and everybody listening. 
Thank you. All that right, sorry about that. That is really funny. Instacart. No, no, I have something to say first. Oh, go oh, ahead, oh. Go ahead, go okay, ahead. guys, um, before we continue, it's true? the holiday season, and we have a very special, special little um, treat we wanted to give y'all, people watching. Um, we, we what? Do? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> we do. <laughs> We want to let you know that we have a special deal going on right now for our Patreon page. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been, we've had this Patreon page for the past, like what, two years. Yeah, just about we two post, years now. We post bonus episodes. We post exclusive content. We have a live Q and A's every month. We early got access, a couple days early. You get it ad free. We get these cameras. Uh, we keep them rolling after the episode. So it's like an extended cut for like an extra like 20, 30 minutes, hey, whatever. And don't skip, don't skip. We're not, we're not just pr promoting our Patreon, but mm -hmm. we have a special, special deal because it's That's the holidays, right, baby. baby. We want to give y'all something holidays. fun. We actually right now we uh we have our Patreon. It's free for seven days. You get to do a nice little trial. You get to go through, check out all the content we've posted. We've got a whole bunch of stuff on there. You can watch all the bonus episodes with the guests that we've had, uh, different drunk episodes, high episodes, and it's all going to be available for free for a seven day trial. If you like it, amazing. If not, baby, just you just get right content. through it, or you just binge it for seven days. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But yeah, we just wanted to do that just so you guys got a little taste of it without having to put in the five dollars first. And um, and if you like it, you guys can stay with us. And if not, binge, <laughs> binge, <at it. laughs> finish <laughs> up in seven days. But yeah, we just want to say that. Want to let you guys know that our link for the Patreon will be in the just description below. And yeah, and enjoy. Hang Love out you. with all of our cousins on there. Yeah, yeah. We call we call the people on our patrons our cousins now. So because it's family. <laughs> all right, uh, Instacart story. I'm going through my notes. I'm and, going through my notes. And I, uh, I can't tell if this was a you had to be there moment, but I can try. Okay. Okay. It's not a crazy story. It's just funny the way Jordan and I were trying to solve the mystery and our ideas to get to the bottom of it. Okay. So last Tuesday I was in, I was, I got out of dance class and I started getting notifications on my phone from Instacart and I didn't make an Instacart order. So I thought it was just like. Hey, we miss you. Like, come <laughs> shopping, whatever. I thought it was a ploy. I, I thought I was getting fake notifications because the notifications coming in, the names of the shoppers were Princess T and Dawn D. Okay, I'm so I, I'm not an Instacart user, so I'm trying to uh, picture like DoorDash, it's poor, uh, Postmates, DoorDash. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, wait, is Instacart the where you get groceries from? Yeah, you could do you could do groceries, food, whatever. Oh, okay. okay yeah, okay, any right. sort of like shop. Yeah, yeah okay. any store. Like I could get makeup from Sephora, like whatever. Yeah, right. like you could you could Instacart like a laptop. They'll go to like the Apple Store and but like get you a laptop. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> They'll buy Bruh, 2023. They'll, they'll put an offer on a house for Yo, you. Wait, what? Wait, they'll they're go to asking open me houses. for your ID? <laughs> I remember um, Scott really wanted an Apple Watch, so he had somebody go pick it up and buy it. Wait, <laughs> can you get, get like a new passport from Instacart? Uh, I, I, I bet, I bet. <laughs> we'll make, uh, make it happen. Someone will, someone will. So I start getting these notifications and I haven't used Instacart in a while, so I thought they were just sending fake notifications to get me to click it and like start shopping because like I said, the shopper's name were Princess T and Dawn D. And I was okay. like, why are there two different shoppers? And why and do I was they like, rhyme? Why? Yeah, I was like, there's no way. So I ignored it for a little bit. And then I started getting, so in the app, you can message the shopper. So it seemed like the notifications I was getting were messages. So they were like, let me check on that. You can't pay that way. That, but it was very robotic sounding, so I really didn't think anything of it. I was like, I think this is fake. So finally, this was actually the night we went to Remy and Alicia's to, okay. hang, to hang out. So I get there and I'm checking my phone and I click the notification and I'm logged out of the app. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what the heck? So I went to log Sus. back in and it claims that there's no email or phone number under, that, under an account. I was like, what the heck? Cause I'm getting text messages from Instacart. So how are they saying my account doesn't exist? Whatever. So those notifications started at like 8 PM. These are going on to, to the morning. Okay. At like 7 AM, I wake up to a notification that my Instacart is trying to get in touch with me and they don't know how to get to the house and blah, blah, blah. So I heard the doorbell ring. I woke up to the doorbell ringing at 7 a.m. And I was like, who the hell is that? And then I see Jordan walking to the gate. And I'm Princess like, oh, D. all right. I was like, all right. Yeah, Jordan's walking out with Princess T. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was like, oh, I thought maybe Jordan ordered coffee for himself. I didn't think anything of it. So I'm still not putting the pieces together that it was the same time. 
So Jordan just so happened to be walking to his car and he saw the Instacart guy. So, and I Instacart things. So he just grabbed the bag from him. It was a CVS bag. He just grabbed it from him, said thank you, and then put it in another room because he just assumed it was for me. Yeah. So then Jordan texts me and says, did you get something from CVS? And I said, no. And then now I'm like, wait, this was a real Instacart thing. I was like, oh, they just went to like the wrong house. I don't Mm -hmm. know. But- Jordan and I bring the bag to the guest house and we're like, let's just dissect this and like see what happened. Um, because I went to my bank account and there was like $200 taken out, but then immediately put back in from Instacart. Huh. So I'm like, what the heck is going on? So Jordan and I take out the bag and it's Mercedes perfume or Mercedes <laughs> cologne and a candle number two and a candle number three. Well, what's is Mercedes uh, just a brand like a branded like the, <clears throat> the, car. the car brand? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like having like Porsche, por- a yeah. Porsche candle or like something. But Mercedes cologne. Mercedes cologne. It's expensive. We need to open an investigation. <laughs> This um, is getting really creepy. But it's weird that like okay. she was logged out of her account, but the orders were like. But I was, was still, still getting going messages. And got right. delivered to the house. Well, I, when 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 the package first got here, um, remember we thought the address was like a letter or a number off right. or something like that. Um, so we were thinking it was a number off, but then I was like, if I'm getting text messages, maybe this person put in the wrong number off by one. I said, if it's my area code, this person's on the east coast. Yeah. If it's the wrong address number it's here in this neighborhood so i'm trying to get to the bottom of like who this person is to try to get their package back but but do you know why because it is clear that this is a birthday (laughs) present it's a birthday birthday candles because we have a yes a a two and a number three so jordan and i are jordan and i are being so funny and we're like we have to get to the bottom of this so we take the candles and we're like is it 23 or 32 and then we put the mercedes perfume in the middle of the numbers and we're like 302 203 and we're just just trying to put the pieces together and jordan they want yeah, we want something really bad. They so it. the guy that dropped the, the bag off told Jordan this is for Michelle. And Jordan was like, Oh, yes. So you thought it was for my thought, friend Michelle? Friend Michelle yeah, my best friend account. is Michelle. So he was like, Oh, all right, it's for Michelle. So he brought it in. And then he goes, Do you have a package from Michelle? And I was like, No. And he was like, It's for Michelle L. The guy just dropped it off and he didn't seem interested and he left. This guy is a totally different driver than the two notifications I was getting. His name was Kahir. <laughs> <laughs> Say Kahir. Z- uh, Kahir. Uh, Zahir. Zahir. Zahir D. Everybody's got D. Like the Princess yeah, D, Zahar weird. D. So a, Zahir, thing. Zahir came to the door, dropped it off and said, not my problem. Here's your stuff. Yeah. What the hell's going on? So this was a $200 cologne. So I'm like, we got to get this back to this person. So... I don't know why you're fighting for it. It came out of your account. Like it, <laughs> I know, you but it got put it. back in and it was somebody's birthday. Yeah. birthday. It was and he was turning in 2332. The, 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 I think the problem is, is that it didn't feel like someone hacked her. It didn't it just feel malicious. Like, yeah, because someone, we got a package of cologne and two birthday candles sent to the house. Yeah, so it's like, it in, didn't in, feel in on our, purpose. Yeah, in, in our perspective, it's like, Someone's about to have the worst birthday ever. Or, right. or like, I, imagine, Jordan, wait, Jordan goes, the person, we're going to go to CVS right now, go to the cologne section and wait for Michelle to walk in. Because she's like, because, where's my package? And because she, went to CVS right. herself. I said, who's having a more confusing day, us or Michelle? And he's like, definitely Michelle. <laughs> so we were going to go to CVS and wait because obviously she didn't have the package. This birthday was obviously for this day because she's been trying since the night before to get this package mm. and two people canceled on her. <laughs> So Zaheer picked up the slack and got the package, but delivered to the wrong house. What's this happening so, in your account? So Jordan and <laughs> yeah, I. Just all in her account. So there is another, our street name. There's another street on the other side of um, yes. the main street. I've messed in, up before. Yes. And yeah. Yes. That's the thing. When people type in our address, sometimes it takes them to the other neighborhood. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, Jordan, let's go to the other neighborhood that I know that street is like one, only one block long. Let's look for a Mercedes in front of a house and just no feel the way. vibes. Match up and cars. just feel the vibes. 
feel a vibe. Wait, let me just say before we finish, we did not get to the bottom of it. So there, this is anticlimactic, but it <laughs> Everyone, is funny. Everybody. We, we <laughs> All did, right. Hold on. No, no, no. There is a bottom of it. And the bottom of it is, is that we did everything in our power to give someone a better birthday. We and posted, we didn't even know that. That's good. We good. posted it on the neighbor's app. I took a picture of the oh package. Oh my, get over <laughs> it. I took a picture of the package and I said, emergency. <laughs> we, we also, Code red. Code red, 911. We also drove to CBS. We drove to CBS. Oh, wait, wait. There's but people wait, dying on the app. Wait, but there's say, people that are getting murdered. There's people turning 23 or 32. Okay. Respect. <laughs> respect. So um, Jordan and I go to the neighborhood and there is one house that had a Mercedes. And a guy that looked like he smelled. But we're trying to feel out the house because we're like, why? We said if Michelle was able to get to the store, she would have just done it herself. So she must be handicapped. In front, right in front of the house was a handicapped van. Oh, with, okay. So we're like, okay, this looks like it could be, and we were looking at the numbers to see which one was our numbers, but flip flopped, and that was it. So it was mm. our numbers flip flopped, and there was a handicapped van because I was like, she's been trying for two days. She would have just ran to the store. I said, I bet she. What if she like sends her husband? Like, can you just run to the store and get it? So now we're waiting for a Mercedes. A Mercedes pulls beautiful, out. Beautiful, beautiful Mercedes. Beautiful Mercedes pulls out of the driveway and we're facing the wrong direction to follow them. We make a U-turn. We're already in the cul-de-sac. We make a U-turn for like what? Five, it took us five seconds to turn around. We go to follow the Mercedes. Go, Abby Lee Miller. Disappeared. Gone. Disappeared. <laughs> and then I said, floor it to CVS. We're going to beat them there. Yes. So we go to CVS because it's right around the block and we are up and down the lanes and we cannot find this. Di it, it dis I swear they it were probably trying to get away from yeah, you, a crazy psycho. Team chasing <laughs> and she's me. probably calling the police because she's trying to figure out. So Not then, only have they stolen her property <laughs> that she bought, but they're following her now. <laughs> it completely disappeared like like not a trace and this this neighborhood is all stop signs gone gone so then this is what happens when like Jordan, Sherlock what are you too wearing much as a kid <laughs> <laughs> their new Mercedes go ball is that the new Mercedes oh we should have brought it for show and tell oh, oh, we'll bring it next time um <laughs> nobody wait what's nobody also has. really weird though it's still a mysterious order the night before when she was trying to place the order she ordered a birthday gift bag and a Dolce & Gabbana perfume. So I said, if that mm. item wasn't available, why would she replace it with candles and a cologne for She's men? a mistress. You think? Yeah. With Princess T? Yeah. <laughs> Something's going on. It's fishy and it's not Mercedes I'm smelling. It's, it's something else. I don't know. Else. So then yeah. the last thing that Jordan and I did was we we did go online. Broke and in I, her house. <laughs> I typed in Michelle L. Burbank. Oh my God. And one Michelle L. came up at Heath's doctor's office and we were gonna go in and be like, is Michelle? <laughs> Happy Bye. birthday. Hey, Michelle, have you been hey, looking for this? Can you, the next hey. time she has an appointment, give this to Michelle L. <laughs> You want to be in a movie so bad, the you two just, of they you. They just want to solve a crime. I just want to help. I just want to help. <laughs> oh, sue and me. Ram, help, sue your, us. help yourself for once. Sue help us. Yourself. I posted on the Neighbors app and it, it got, I went viral. <laughs> <laughs> I had, we had, it we, was a hit. Wait, it Jordan was a doesn't hit. know this. We have eight likes and comments. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Eight likes and comments, but nothing helped. They were all like, you're an angel. Like, God bless you. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's Wait, Michelle? Is that like crazy on the app? <laughs> that's, that is yeah. like, that's like top the TikTok app, on the, the app. It's the app I found Dean. That, that, that's like, <laughs> what is that? trending you, on the For You page. And that. guess what? Someone's looking for their cat right now because you probably fucking stole it. <laughs> Just <laughs> taking everybody's property. So, I mean, that's pretty much, that's pretty much. Oh, that, this was funny though. We <laughs> we went we went to the note. Look at my notes. All look. of this Ooh. happened while I was sleeping. Zane, well. look. Oh yeah, Heath was sleeping because we we went out at seven a.m. We were like, get in the car. I let's opened go. my eyes. She was like, you're not gonna believe it. But, <laughs> and he was like, and he goes, did you did you figure it out? I'm like, no. I was, like, did, the, I was literally like, did you get your money back? Yeah, of course. Heath I was, was like, like, you got scammed. Just call the bank. <laughs> Heath is like, call the bank. Stop driving around. <laughs> She's like, oh, by the way, I lost my ring. I was in the neighborhood and I was trying to find Mercedes. I mean. I could have sworn this lady was Michelle and she just really, 
this was actually funny when before we went we were like let's get coffee and start driving around so we went to the coffee <laughs> shop we park in in a section of the neighborhood that is just unbothered every single time and i don't think anything of it for some reason we park in this spot I get out and then we start walking and I'm like, you know what? Like, is there, does this street even have street sweeping? Before it came out of my <laughs> mouth, like a monster street sweeper. Turning. 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 Full speed. Jordan was like, he was not stopping. He was not. So Jordan's screaming. I have Dean. I have the CVS bag. I am locked and loaded. And Jordan's like, go, go, leave me. Just go. So I hop in the car. My doors are like still open. And I fly around the corner. I sw I'm not kidding. I probably an arm's length from the street sweeper. He didn't stop. If, if we did not move, I think he would have went over. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Like saw monster it. house. Just like. It was yes. Just yes. It what, was. What he saw in from his windshield is a guy running to his Jeep, getting in, going, hurry, And then hurry. a crazy lady with a cat. And, <laughs> and he just felt, it felt like, <laughs> like faster. Faster. And Those street cleaners probably, don't fuck around. Don't it probably felt like the um, the uh, Michael Myers challenge where you're trying to get the key yes. in the door. <laughs> and you're just like, okay, uh, was a yes. good test. It was exactly. exactly. I'm sweating thinking about it. Exactly that. So I thought that intuition was really weird. <laughs> and Dean... Dean has Dean doesn't get car sick and he was gagging. So I in front of the Mercedes house. It the was the Mercedes perfume. The handicap house. <laughs> yes. Stop. She kept spraying. So she was hoping that would bring the If anyone can help us get to the bottom of it, if you had a CVS bag, what's also interesting Also the birthday passed. So let's oh maybe. So let's what's oh, happening. If you turned thirty two yeah. or twenty three last week. We were about to save your life. Okay. But we didn't. <laughs> just, just to conclude. And Michelle L, I have your doctor, George. <laughs> <laughs> just to conclude this, I really need, how, why is it coming from your account? This perfume. Zane, I still can't log into Instacart. Okay, and so. we called Instacart. Oh, this had nothing to do with the two notifications that you got. It did. It did. Oh. Because the night before she tried making an Instacart, but two people couldn't find the item. So they canceled on her. So the Zaheer picked it up in the morning and said, I'll go get it. So this is this is my thought process, right? No, I come think on, stop. Be nice. Her it's her birthday. Got hacked. <laughs> they got in. Her credit cards are linked to it. This person's just ordering shit. Right? That, make, that makes, I think Trying that makes more sense. Things. Yeah. Candles? They, candles. Mercedes perfume. Come yes, on. to throw you off their trail. Yeah, but they haven't done anything since. <clears throat> and my account is still up for they, grabs. No, if they anybody's deactivated interested. it because she finally did call and deactivate it. But I think they hacked it, got in, they changed the email, which is why you couldn't log in. They changed the phone number, which is why you couldn't log in, but they still had your card on file. Okay. And they were just ordering whatever they could because some of the messages she was getting was like, you can't pay for it that way or something like that. So I'm wondering if like <clears throat> they yeah, tried your to way, do something. They said your way won't work. You'll, you'll get declined. Yeah. So they were probably like, I don't have a pin. Can you run it as a credit or like something like that or whatever it was? Sure. But what cruel person fakes a birthday, fakes birthday candles? I just don't get why it got delivered to our house still for our. That's because what's, that, that's because what's the confusing. address is then connected to her, I was, her account. Yeah. I was that's thinking that they were trying to get to our house before before because jordan just happened to be at the front on accident to grab the package from outside oh did but he check the cameras to see who be... else was on the street <laughs> i'm gonna find her michelle l still looking michelle l we're still looking god help happy you birthday oh also the charge didn't get refunded it still came out so we paid for this oh so it's yours yeah, we do have it. I was going to gift it for Heath. <laughs> <laughs> but should have gifted way, it for, to me. I should have put it in the duffel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a present to all of us. I think it's still going to be solved. Let me That's see a, I, let me see if I'm honestly, still going viral. Kind of wild. <laughs> Shit like that gravitates towards you, Mariah. Like I you I agree. We just well, we really just wanted someone to have a nice birthday. Yeah. That no, no. It. I I I loved your guys' effort. So on That's... Patreon, we're giving away the Mercedes perfume. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good idea. Yes. That's like a that's expensive. Um. Yeah. That's that's pretty much it. So there's no bottom of it, but it was it was fun. A big top we had we it. had fun. Awesome. Okay. 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 It's the, it's the adventure that makes it fun. Thank yeah. You. We just yes. like the adventure. Yeah. 
Like Did nobody you? gets up as early as me and Jordan. We're like, let's freaking go. Let's go solve some <laughs> shit. You're bored. Second that, second that sun starts showing in the sky, that's I'm up. They're Sun's literally up, I'm up. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. <laughs> <laughs> evil. We should do that next week. We're to have Halloween. Evil. Evil. Oh my evil. gosh, that's good for Halloween. <laughs> I am always looking for my keys. <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, ShipStation. Baby, we know the holidays are the busiest time of the year. So don't get stuck worrying about shipping orders. Let ShipStation do the heavy lifting so you or your team can put your time, money, and energy into more important things. Plus, when it comes to those inevitable holiday returns, ShipStation automates, recommends exchanges, and gathers customer feedback. So even if they bought the wrong size or color, they'll still have a great experience. Exactly. And whether you're shipping from your house or multiple warehouses, ShipStation can increase your holiday profitability by a lot. <laughs> <laughs> My man said, I am going off My, off script. Oh, I improv, baby. That's that's how we do. And ShipStation is super user friendly. You can easily automate shipping tasks and manage orders and returns in one simple dashboard. And not only that, you can quickly and easily update crucial order information and reduce errors. Plus, you're going to get effortless integration everywhere you sell online like Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. And they even manage orders, print labels, compare rates, optimizes every shipment, and automates delivery notifications. And on top of that, you're going to get industry-leading discounted rates from USPS, UPS, DHL, and Global Post. And you're going to get discounts of up to 84% off of USPS and UPS rates. Yes, over 130,000 companies have scaled their e-commerce businesses with ShipStation. And 98% of the companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. So if you're ready to let your customers shop risk-free this holiday season with ShipStation, all you got to do is go to ShipStation.com and use code UNFILTERED today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. Again, you're going to go to ShipStation.com and use code UNFILTERED today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. Thank you so much, ShipStation, for sponsoring this podcast. We love you. Didn't something else happen in your neighborhood? Oh, Yes, at our engagement party um, We're yesterday. We're engaged. We got engaged. We got engaged. <laughs> um, Had a little dinner. It was cute. Yeah. I uh, couldn't eat any of the pizza or anything. To, oh, you missed. It was the fact. Banging. Yeah, I know. I, uh, I could smell it. So towards the end of the night, we were like uh, out front down the street. And Stay one of the um, houses okay. has a rope swing like type thing out front on the swale where the cars park yeah and i walked out and there was kids swinging into the street like pushing each other hard and i'm watching and all of a sudden the kid is slammed like slammed into the side of a car and i was like oh my gosh like that's not good and then i'm looking at it i was like oh my gosh that's our friend's car that's inside and they just hit the car so i came running inside to tell our friend like hey you need to come outside right now, move your car. This These kids are like on a rope swing and just hit your car. And I didn't think it was bad. I the just rope saw like, swing is on the, like the, oh, you know what? I've swung it before. That colorful the, the rope. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, it's like a tire rope swing type thing. Why is it there? So why is it there? It's not on their property. It's on the sidewalk. I know. I know. they it's can like, get in a lot of trouble It's literally for. right next to where cars park. Yes. She goes running outside to like see what's going on and- as she's walking up to her car, the kids took off running. She walked up and she was looking at her car. It is dented. It looks There's like a car hit it. All down the side. The car is beat. Like, Shit. I didn't think it was this bad. I thought, like, they maybe bumped it while yeah, they were like, just swinging. Like, kids playing. But no, it looked like the, these kids were like, yo, pull me back, swing me into it. I'm going to smash the side of this like a wrecking ball. In this neighborhood? It was That's crazy. Wild. There was like scrapes all down the side. The doors were like, dead. like, it was bad. So they go up to the owner of the house that put the swing up and they're like, hey, were these your kids that were just outside? Like my car is literally wrecked right now. And they're like, oh my gosh, we're sorry. That, that's our swing. But no, we don't know who those kids are. Um, they've been here before using our swing and then they run this way. Um, I think they live at this house right there. They said, we've been having a problem with these kids because they'll leave trash in front of their house. And then when they come out to confront them, the kids run. So they found out which house the kids live in. Let's go! And they, they asked Come for on. our friend's number, and they were like, I'll text you the house. <laughs> she, <laughs> Wait, this all happened when I left? Yeah. yeah. Why do I always so, leave? Well, the best part is we have another friend who's an ex-cop. We and have a friend was, that's an ex-cop, and his girlfriend's like, an attorney. Go. So they marched their ass over there, and we're trying to get to the bottom of it. God, I... 
It so, was Zane. It was exhilarating. I love that. They walk up and then they go to the house that they think that this kid lives in yeah. now because they were pointed towards that house and they see a kid run by the window and they're like, "Oh, we got yes. him! We got him!" So they get rang, that little shit. So people the bell. were home. They rang the bell and they didn't. They kept answer. ringing the bell and nobody came out. Is it because the kids were by themselves? They were either by themselves or the parents just. No, I think the kids were by themselves. She they, well, we went to go out and take pictures of the swing for proof. Yeah, and they took it down. They like the seconds down. later because technically that house could be in trouble if something happened. Like say somebody, if the kids got hurt. Say somebody yeah. walking by went to just get on the swing because it's right there on the sidewalk and like fell, cracked their head on the curb. The homeowners were liable for yeah because they put up. it up. It's mm -hmm. on there. So it's nice the but the owner of the house down. was trying to help our friend out. But they could get in a lot of trouble, so they ripped it down. It's like they went inside for two seconds, came back out, and the swing was gone. So we have before and after pictures of the swing there and the swing. So who's out. who's liable? We don't know. She's trying to figure it out. But she asked us for pictures today because she's talking to She does whoever. get so unlucky sometimes. I felt so Poor bad. Poor thing. I know. She doesn't deserve that. Like, even though we didn't do anything, it was like she parked at our house. I just felt... Well, like almost liable. I and I like, felt oh, I bad because bad. how lighthearted I came in, not thinking this situation was that serious. Yeah. I was like, hey, these kids are swinging. And they just like bumped your car. Yeah. But like, like I thought to like just get her to move so the kids could keep swinging. Not the fact that her car was trash. You saw. We did not think it would be that bad. Like he yeah. said, we just thought hey, we were going to send out, her out there car. and be like, hey, stop kicking my car. But it was damaged. Are you ever on TikTok and imagine something's like trending, like everybody's talking about this certain video or something. And then people are like responding to it by like, they'll just post a video of their face just like. Like that, oh, yeah. and they'll put and a caption. Like, what is it? What is and, the and video? Okay. So, it has barely any context, yes. but like everybody, and all like, there's like a million, a million yeah, likes yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah. And everybody that liked it obviously knows what that video is. But mm -hmm. like, I saw, so, I saw somebody post a video just like that, talking about something of like inside a Senate room. And I was like, what is everybody talking yeah. about? So I go to Twitter. I always go to Twitter. That's like the best place to check. And I just type in Senate. It's like trending, just the word yeah, Senate. Yeah. I'm like, what is going I click the I click the um the trending tab and I just see screenshots of of um of like a video where it looked like like a porn like people like um people fucking mm -hmm. right and it's in this like this congressional room I'm like huh and I'm looking more into it and seeing people's respond they're like there's no way that these people did this in the Senate room. And I, I did more research and it was like an actual congressional, like staff member that mm -hmm. what? fornicated with another person inside the Senate room and filmed it all on his phone. Like you filmed, filmed him having sex in the, in the Senate room, in the congressional Senate room. And it's everybody crazy. is like, what? It's How insane. did that happen? <laughs> How is it leaked? It, I just don't understand how, because w like when you saw that, you're like, okay, obviously it wasn't r a random person. A random person can't just get into this room and film something like that. Like this was somebody that had access to this room. Yeah. I just can't believe that <laughs> that happened. Um, oh my gosh. Big security concerns are being raised on Capitol Hill after an aide to a Maryland Senator was allegedly one of the two men seen in a sex video recorded in a Senate hearing room. That aide is now fired, obviously. Oh, obviously. And people are asking how this could happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, it's one of those stories that everyone on Capitol Hill is talking about, but nobody is talking about it on the record. Oh, my when, God. When news broke Friday that a Senate, sta a Senate staffer was alleged to be one of the two men in a sex video in the Hart Senate office building, it raised eyebrows. But now it's raising questions. <laughs> that is. There's no way. Wait, it's was it like a revenge thing? Was it like, you know what? I don't know. Did he just get fired? Oh my god. Was no. he celebrating uh, a, a promotion? I don't even know what to say. That's like <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Everybody's talking about it right now. It's insane. insane. I'm sick right now. Room's starting to spin. <laughs> Who banged in the Senate room? Used to. Used to. Used to's. How did they know no one was going to walk in? Maybe it was like on a weekend. Well, did you he see had, the, I think he just had access. Did you so he see can go the, in whenever he wants. The other person that got busted, uh, she was. In a movie theater, she like works in some sort of like political position or whatever. In a oh, movie theater, oh, got wait. busted doing stuff. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. It was uh, 
I don't know who it was, but I remember seeing something where she was getting, um, she was getting fondled with in a movie theater. Got busted and exposed for that. And but who wait, I didn't even know there was cameras in a movie theater. She's truly sorry, guys. Come on. I mean, we've all. Oh done, yeah, I think Matt did bring that up. Politician. Look, ejected. we've all done a little fondling. In I movie love theater. that. Zane. I know. I know. I did it back in grade school. Zane, politician ejected from theater. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the lever. No, she, she's strutting out. Look at her. She's she, hot. Look she, at her. She, yeah, she, I did that. Yeah, I did that shit. But, and I'll do it again. And I do it again. Wait, that, that's that looks like a webcam. It, like, it, there's cameras in movie theaters. There's got. I would be, imagine. Yeah. That's not good. Uh, Zane, <laughs> if if that's the case, you see me. <laughs> you'd chair. see me yeah, you ain't vaping the shit. whole time i cannot wait yeah i just i do it the whole time in movie yeah theater. that's pretty crazy that's like night vision they should have cameras in movie theaters like it's yeah. like the one place where you can really get away with anything yeah it's dark it's a great place to like get to do it like a drug deal mm -hmm. to do fornicating acts mm -hmm. to steal before we continue we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast hello fresh and if y'all live under a rock and you don't know what hello fresh is hello fresh is a food delivery service where you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep skip trips to the grocery store and count on hello fresh to make home cooking easy fun and affordable that's why it's america's number one meal kit baby whether your new year's resolution is to save money eat better or stress less hello fresh is here to help you do all three say hello to your most delicious year yet with hello fresh's ingredients chef crafted recipes at a price you like delivered right to your door mm. and dig into their biggest menu yet with over 45 dinner options to choose from weekly and even more market add-on items that suit any lifestyle and one of my favorite things about hello fresh is that they have their quick and easy meals including their 15 minute recipes designed to help minimize mealtime stress because nobody likes spending two hours in the kitchen trying to get a meal on the table. And not only that, we're also trying to revamp our healthy eating habits mm -hmm. this holiday season. So you got to look to HelloFresh's wholesome health forward options like over 30 calorie smart and protein smart recipes each week. Perfect for somebody that's on a diet like me. And not only is it rewarding to make something that looks exactly like the picture that comes in your box with all the ingredients that you're not going to throw away after because they give you the exact amount that you need. It's just such a good feeling. You feel accomplished and you're cooking something you never thought you'd be able to. And I honestly just love trying to match my food that I cook with the picture that's on their menus so, that they got. I know. And it's also good to have that quality time back in the kitchen with your friends, your family, your boyfriend and girlfriend especially during the holiday season, baby. Exactly. So if you're ready to give HelloFresh a try, all you got to do is go to HelloFresh.com slash unfiltered free and use code unfiltered free for free breakfast for life. Dang, that's an insane deal, guys. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash unfiltered free with code unfiltered free. Thank you so much, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this podcast and being America's number one meal kit. We love you so much. Woo! <laughs> Do you guys like how I'm matching the chair today? <laughs> I'm glad you went stripes the other way. <laughs> Dude, check these out. I got these for Christmas. These are my uh Those are those are sick, I'm not gonna lie. My my Uggs that look like they're Can I try uh, one? Uggs and Crocs are gotta be the most comfortable shoes. They're ugly, but wow. they are so soft. Oh my Stand god. Stand up. Stand up. They're really nice. Get in there. That's amazing. Yeah. They're cool. Whoa, those are sick. I Thanks, need to, man. I need to get me some. Um, I went in my closet today because I knew, you know, today was a Christmas episode. So I was like, ooh, I want to like dress Christmassy. This, I, I swear this was <laughs> the, like, this was the closest thing to Christmas I could find. In my we got to get you a sweater that you just wear every year. Uh, ugly, for, ugly Christmas sweater. I usually have one. I just, I don't know. I usually it's like sitting in a drawer somewhere. I just couldn't find it this year. I couldn't find anything. And you thought that was Christmassy? I, I, I was thinking like, you know, br the brown was for like gingerbread and the red was like the candy cane. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Fall colors. Oh no. Fall's not Christmas. But you know what I mean. Um, there was something else that I had that I wanted to talk about. Well, Hold you on. should probably yeah, get it out on this Give episode. Me one second. I saw this pop up my pop up on my feed and I was it, <coughs> it just made me realize how old I am. Very scary. Forty seven year old actress Melissa Melissa Joan Hart is playing a grandmother in a new movie, making some fans feel old. Do you know who that is? That's Sabrina. Sabrina the Teenage Witch is playing a grandmother. What? Wait, she's not. She does not in, look in that a, old. In though. a new movie, but she does not look old. She she's getting old. Wow. It's kind of messed up that they were um, like, "Hey, can you play a grandmother?" Yeah. How would you feel being forty seven? 
Damn. She looks good for her age. She must have been like, do I not look good for my age? I how mean, old was she? How old was she and Sabrina the teenage boy? Technically, a grand. She probably was twenty five. <laughs> probably. <laughs> we, th- we, we thought Actually, she was like sixteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A grandmother at forty is not like absurd. She was nineteen for Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Wow. Well, she had to be a teen, right? That is crazy. I always thought she was much older on the show. She just seems wow. so mature, and mature, real mature. Oh, that's real, real, real mature, real rich, real mature. Real. Are you guys trying to think of something to talk about? Though? No. Yeah. No. We're, <laughs> we're, Obviously. We're good. Oh, my God. We have so much time. I'm looking at the notes right now, but. The LAX, uh, like, Metro thing is supposed to be done. The people <gasps> mover. Yes. Wait, what? I'm hoping that changes a lot of the, the traffic issue over there. Wait, what's what's happening again? Do you know the Miami airport has, like, that train that goes from terminal to terminal? You yeah. can just hop on the train. They have one in LA now. But it's not open yet. It was supposed to open 2023, but um, it's supposed to be summer. Oh, wait. No. Wait, a train place. to go from like one terminal to the next terminal? And yeah. I think it goes out to, to like the hotels outside of the airport. It, it's that huge it thing that's been under construction. Okay, but how does this help us, like locals that just want to get to our terminal? No, Unless, it doesn't help you at all. It doesn't help. Oh, okay. So what's the point of that then? Uh, is it is it to like it maybe just, the traffic is going to be... It's to... It's, to it's hard to explain. Inter you know, airport transportation will be easier. Like if you have a connecting flight, you got to go to a different terminal for... But bitch, we don't have connecting flights I, in I, LA. Um, I can tell you guys, it, it is just, it takes all the people who Uber and stuff, The bu- they're going to get rid of the bus system. So they're going to have that thing take them to the Uber drop-off. Oh, so there will be no buses on the... There shouldn't be... A, like, the buses should go away, so go, the traffic should be, be better. Nice. Those fat-ass like buses do take a Yo, lot of space. They are all over the road, too. I know. They will They will literally drive you... They got to do it every day. Off so the I, road. I, the thing is that I'm not surprised. I probably would do the same thing if I had to drive a bus around the terminal every single day. Yeah. They're just doing loops. They're just doing loops. And, like, you have to... You have to be an asshole to like drive that bus through that shit every single Who's day. Who's driving this bus? Because you have to get people to their like, because you have a bus full of people trying to get to their flight too. Damn. Everyone is just trying to get to their flight as soon as possible and just put everybody in one area. Is a bus trying to do that? Sorry, I've, I've been. St- is a bus the only thing with a horizontal steering wheel? Like you, you drive that bitch like. This. Oh yeah, that's true. Like that seems kind of nice. Imagine what do you mean a horse? Oh, like, like instead fl- of like it's kind of like instead a plate. of like this, like it's like flat. Like you're, you drive like this. I think it has to be because of the suspension or something, isn't it? Like it has. I to- don't know because like yeah, they they're very like flat. Yeah, like that would like be kind of dr- nice. They drive like this, and their arm is touching the wheel like this. Yeah, I like it. I'm gonna look that up. That would be really nice, actually. It's it it huh. makes sense for like a big vehicle that you have to drive like a bo- think about like a like boat. that Zane a boat would be really That's nice yeah look wheel. at that why are they like that why are bus steering wheels flat all right she, she, t- she tells has- people why are they like that <laughs> <laughs> this feature has changed over the years and varies in vehicles but initially the large steering wheels on buses sat almost horizontally the driver sits directly above the tires. So for the steering column to correct the tires, the steering wheel needs to be positioned at a different angle. Ah. All right. That's why there's that weird thing where it's like the bus is so wide, but how does it fit in the same lane as us? Yeah. It's because they're sitting on top of the wheels. Wait, so are we. (laughs) Oh, wait. No. Wait, what? Mariah coming in with the the knowledge. (laughs) The juice, the funny, and the knowledge. <laughs> and that's Tri- a triple s- threat. Triple. Wait, what do they mean they're sitting on top of the wheels? Aren't we all? Like, I know they're on the side. So- oh, wait, right, don't the wheel- right now. Okay, so listen. The wheels right- on the bus go round and round <laughs> all the time. Not, no, the, but the it- windshield, <laughs> the wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. Wait. At, allegedly. All through the town. <laughs> um, when you're driving a car, the wheels are out in front of you. So as you're turning, the wheels are moving like this. Okay. In a bus, the wheels are literally underneath oh, you. Oh, right. Oh, my god. So gosh. in order to make the angle to get the wheels to pivot, oh, it's, wow. it has to be That's awesome. like they're like directly down. Uh, but the real question is, who who's driving this bus? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, enough. <laughs> who driving this, this bus? bus? I just, I just want to know, like. 
who really got the buzz moving? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, no, just, I so, didn't even know that. No, seriously. Stop. Seriously. Like, who really got the buzz moving? <laughs> who got this buzz moving? Y'all really thought it was going to No, guys, it's bus. not funny. Who really got the buzz moving? <laughs> <laughs> you know what else, is, what else is shutting down? This podcast. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for everything. so much. They, you ever seen the Volkswagen bus <laughs> that they, they make? And it's completely sideways and it rides on its side, <laughs> no. but it looks. No, I don't know. I don't right, know. right. Pull up the Volkswagen bus that rides on its side. <laughs> it's the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> they. It's just going to show. <laughs> no, it drives like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta you gotta pull up a video of it moving. Is you it gotta, on the gotta, highway? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Imagine seeing that going down the road. <laughs> Did you see the two kids that flip a truck upside like completely backwards? And <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I saw another really good one. It, it was a a guy who got a tick. They were uh, giving out tickets to people if you um back in parked. Like it, you, it was like illegal to like back in park in like the specific parking lot and they gave a ticket. So he <laughs> took a car and cut it in half oh, and yeah. welded two fronts together. <laughs> so no matter which way he parked, it would be technically like backwards. <clears throat> and the guy didn't know what to do. That was like writing the ticket. It this really title funny. is so good. Back in parking prohibited. So I made a car with two fronts. <laughs> oh, that's the that's title. So good. It's genius. What did you get your mom for Christmas? Um, I'm getting my mom and my brother both uh, checks. Go off. Just use it for what you need. Mm -hmm. Bills, buy yourself something nice. Weed, all anything. That shit. I'm just, I'm such a big fan of just giving somebody like cash. Everybody could use cash. Amazon, it's right, right on their phone, right? Like they, they, they put it in their account and they can, you buy whatever you want. <clears throat> right it's 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 the time it's the time where you just give money and you let people get exactly what they like and my brother's building a house too so or he's almost done building a house so it'd be nice to just kind of help him out invest in his house do you think most people break even with the holidays is that like no it all depends on like Break even for spending? Yeah, like the amount of gifts that you give mm -hmm. versus what you get. Like at some point, somebody's got to be oh, on the yeah. on the positive. Mariah's in the negative every year. I oh, know that. Oh, 100%. I I'm know bad. that. I'm bad. I'm bad. You know what I mean? Like Soon somebody's got to be raking in like. I'm, she's, like, I'm a give up. She's Because she's, she's got me three uh, Christmas presents this year. I'm I've given her up. one uh, just just attitude. That's all I've given her <laughs> yeah, this year. Yeah, you've given me a lot of attitude. Yeah. I love a challenge. So that's a good gift. There's people that are just like that love giving gifts. They love spending money on other people. Mm -hmm. Gift wise. It's fun to give. It's fun giving. Oh, it's the best. We gave, I, we gave our, our uh, male lady. We, we give her like a Dunkin Donuts gift card. And I chased her down. Um, What's up with you and chasing people down? I actually did chase her thrill. down. I was backing out of my driveway <laughs> and I had the gift card inside. And I was like, okay, if I see her on the ring camera, I'm going to run out. But I had to go. So I <laughs> backed out of the, the driveway almost and ran almost over. hit her. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is perfect. So I pulled back into the driveway. I ran inside the house, grabbed the gift card. She was a couple houses over at the front door. And I chased her to the front door. How much was on the Dunkin' Donuts gift card? 7000 <laughs> wow. Seven thousand. Imagine walking 000? in with a seven thousand dollar Dunkin. I'd be pissed <laughs> if someone gave me a seven thousand dollar Dunkin gift. <laughs> seven thirty thousand. I'd be pissed. I don't know if I would be. I think I would just be like, guys, it's on me. Like anytime oh, I walked so in, yeah. Like I would want to be like, everybody behind me, I got them, and then just hit it. Who, hey, whoever comes in today, I got it covered. <laughs> that would be really fun. Anyway, sue me. All right, we got to pack. That, that was good. Yeah, we do have to pack. I don't want to go. We leave at 3 a.m. for the airport. I thought you said it was 5. That flight's at 5. What time do you think we have to leave? Yeah, oh, we have to leave yeah, the airport yeah, at like yeah. 3. And we got to pack the cat. And we got to clean the house after the party. We got to clean the house. Red eyes suck. I love red eyes. But it's it not, doesn't it's feel not, like you're losing a, a day. Eye. Red eye would be like taking off at midnight, sleeping through the night, and then you wake up. Yeah, in the I like want we're, like we're losing the entire. Yeah, yeah. That, that like to like. me, if I'm able to sleep on a flight for at least eight hours, that that's good. Like I'll do a red uh, red eye every mm. single time I fly because I know I'm like 
I don't like flying in anyway, so I just sleep the whole time. Yeah, I try to knock out. But the fact that it's like five hours, it's just, it's way, it's right under the amount of sleep that you need. And it just kills the rest of your day. You got to think like four, I have the worst day that day when, when I do Forty-five minutes eye. after takeoff is like you're still getting like settled in your yeah. seat. Yeah, and by the time you fall asleep, bong bong, lights come on. Guys, you're going to be coming through uh, into with, Fort Lauderdale and, Airport. Make sure your seats are up. For, why do I have to put my seat up when we're landing? <laughs> just let me slip. Like what, let what, it. What what happened in the past that we have to keep our trays up? Nothing. I don't Nothing get what happened. the difference of having my seat an inch back during takeoff is going to do. Nothing. Yeah. It does nothing. Because guess what? If that plane was going down, everyone's up anyways in their fucking seats. Make it make Everyone's sense. up. Imagine everyone on board dies because everyone's seats are just reclined back two inches. It, yeah. It's insane. Oh, by the way, since we're on this topic, how do we feel about people reclining their seats in front of you? I don't, I, I mean, you, if everybody reclines, it's the same anyways. I, so th there was this video it that does go back pretty far into like your lap, but I don't really mind. There, there was this like video online of somebody freaking out on this lady that reclined her seat and she turned around and she was like, are you kidding me? You're really going to yell at me for reclining my seat? Why is there recliners on the seats? And it was a whole thing, like a mm. whole debate on should people be upset about people reclining their seats? And it's like, we're all on this plane and economy like sucks anyways you get no space yeah Go the back only good age. thing about these seats it's the probably one the re thing. the one thing that we have yeah. on the planes are like those reclining seats that like just let we all do need it. yeah and then it, like it. it's way too up straight it's, it's way vertical. too straight it's, it's way too it's vertical. a 90 degree angle the fact if we could just recline a little bit our necks don't hurt as much it's just but there's people that always complain and i'm not gonna lie as soon as that 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 seat goes back a second for a split second, I go, oh. but then I realize, oh, You're this about person to do, is yeah. just trying to be a little bit more comfortable. They're probably I, ba back hurts. I'm okay with the, it, it, it all depends on the duration of the seat coming back. How quickly they come back into my oh, space is how yeah. okay I am. 100%. Because every time I, pu I push the button and I... I go like this. Heath, I and go I slow too. And I slowly ease it back so it's not like a jolt in front. There's people that'll be in front. They'll hit that button and just go, woo, like, and throw it back. Don't care if somebody's like, eating. I, I, before I do it, I write the person behind me a nice letter and I let them, <laughs> I let them know what time and how far back I'm about to go. Hey, and if they accept- ETA, 30 minutes, I'm going to be- yeah. I'm about 35 degrees. <laughs> 35 degrees. Circle, circle, yes or no. <laughs> you saw not to use the the toilet paper in like kind of sketchy bathrooms, right? Oh, because they clean their needles with it. Yeah, they stick the needles into the mm -hmm. rolls. Mm. I do oh, you, don't you see like the the little like the blood and like the stuff like in the? That's so gross. I just avoid public restrooms to be. Yeah, that's with. why I don't do it. I can't. I don't go to the bathroom. That's I why I don't leave my to, house. I don't, I don't even go to, go to the bathroom in my own house. I don't want to step on a needle, freaking needle walking out of my house. Are you kidding me? You know what I want in my own house? Those little sheets that you... S Those are nice. Oh. The seat covers. I'm sorry? I love that. The toilet covers, the seat covers. Oh, just wherever you go? I just want them in my house. I. They should make something where... Oh, they, they should have something where... Because I don't, I never want to touch like anything in a bathroom or, or like mm -hmm. anything in a gym or any. Like, I just don't want to touch it. I feel like they need to come up with something where it's just like it's just so simple. You just take it out, and it's it's almost it's. Uh, I feel like it's, I, it's a futuristic type of invention. It's not going to be. It's not going to come out ever. But I wonder like, why they don't make the toilet paper like the paper towels where you could just zzz and it comes out. Yeah. Wait. Say that again. You know the, the paper towels where you just wave your hand across it and it yeah. comes out? Uh -huh. Why don't they do that for toilet paper? Thank you, Jordan. I like it. There's, th that, no, no. Th it's crazy because like there hasn't even been one made. Uh, yeah, I've never seen one. Let's see. Amazon. I feel As the years go go on, I'm getting closer and closer, I to think. To becoming a be billionaire? To becoming a germaphobe. Oh, okay. Oh, we got it. Touchless toilet Someone, paper that dispenser. Like a printer. It does look like a printer. It's <laughs> that Hewlett Packard. <laughs> a fax machine. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. Touchless toilet paper. Right. You should just get one for the guest bathroom. Two hundred thirty nine dollars. It, it it oh it shows up Christmas Eve. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. Shows up at Princess D's. I'm so I'm very Princess T. Princess T. 
fully automatic you know what new new store. bathroom invention that is pretty recent that i'm very surprised but it's my favorite one we almost uh, made it without bathroom talk the little foot spike grippy thing on the corner of the door so you don't have to touch the handle because yeah. because they at first they went with like where you could do use your forearm yeah. to pull it now they just got the little thing on the ground oh yeah i love that why was that not around for decades such an easy fix look at that i love that thing Genius. they should just have that everywhere because we weren't afraid of germs growing up. Now things happen. I Honestly, I fucking, I eat shit off the floor. I don't know what I'm saying. Honestly, same. Like, there's no five second rule for me. It's just really? like, it's the blow rule. Just blow. I can't do it anymore. I'll even like blow, like if I drop like a, like a, a steak bite, like a steak. Like no. I just, thinking that like. If, if it's something that's moist that could pick up dirt. I can't do oh, it. I mean, just a little crunch. No, hurt. absolutely not. Crunch. That's disgusting. Reminds me of like granola. Mm. Little girl, say oh, girl, no. Oh, you, you know what? I'll. Oh, this is really bad. This is really gross. I'll let when I like. I'll make like my protein shakes, right? And I'll like scoop it, and then I'll put it in, and then a little powder gets on the counter, right? What? You snort it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll what? Just, I'll scoop it off the counter and just whatever comes along the way on the counter just I mean, goes that's right not bad. in my cup. No, no, but like there's just obvious crumbs and it's just, dust. Everything. Just any sorts of just debris. Everything. Just, hey, it builds immunity. To me, to me, that's more gross than like something dropping on the floor. Like when you're scooping off the counter, you're collecting with it. Yeah, that's pretty yeah, bad. yeah. That's that's bad. And I admit it. I admit it. You don't wipe the top off of I'm like disgusting. a mustard bottle, do you? Like, like the crust. To, ew, ew, ew. Well, I make sure the crust doesn't come on my plate. I don't care if it's on there, but there's no crust coming on my shit. Okay. No way. Right. No way. Okay. <laughs> I'm on the edge of like not talking I'm on the anymore. edge of glory. <laughs> All right. I'm about to stop talking. I'm so. about to blow. Come on. I'm about to, <laughs> I'm about to smoke some meth. Lord have mercy. I'm, I'm about to the bus. Uh, All right. Let's close this out. Uh, thank I'm you guys for watching. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Filthy animals. Happy birthday, Jesus. Go check out the podcast episodes, uh, audio, every single platform, Pandora, Spotify, Apple, however you do it. And the video version every single Tuesday, uh, youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. Uh, Y'all bitches go check out our Patreon page, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. For $5 a month, you can get all this bonus content. You get bonus videos. You got drunk or high videos. You got videos where um, extended we, versions of the podcast. Yes. We keep these puppies rolling. Um, early access ad mm -hmm, free mm -hmm, yes uh, sir live Q&A you get all that for five dollars a month on patreon.com slash Zane and Heath baby or free for a week right now oh free for a week seven day trial baby again this is our last episode of the year thank you so much for being a part of this family you guys mean so much to us for the fact that you're still here after four years means so much and um, let's have a kick ass 2024 baby let's get it yeah? happy holidays happy holidays Bye. We love y'all. Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Ooh. And Jordan just had to let out one little fart. Just Jordan, we were still the, running the outro. End the year off with. All right, we love you so much. Unwinders, we'll see you in five seconds, baby. Peace. Bye. That Jordan, was awesome. You couldn't wait. I moved weird and it came out. <laughs> he moved weird. What are you, 90? <laughs> I think him moving in general is weird. <laughs> Jordan, have you ever tried on Depends?